Hey guys, welcome back to Stacy Reacts, and I'm your host, Stacy. Yes, welcome, welcome, welcome back, you guys. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful week. Hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Um, happy holidays to everyone. <clears throat> if you celebrate the holidays, happy holidays. But if not, happy December, y'all. So today we're gonna be watching and reacting to Between Us episode six. Yes, Between Us episode 6, the continuation of episode 5, where Team was basically caught a cramp in his leg, and he almost drowned again with the flashbacks. Clearly, I said this in episode 5, I said this in episode 5 and 4 that he probably caught a cramp, and that's why he probably drowned. Anywho... But yes, but before we get into it, I want to say hey to all my new subscribers, hey to all my old subscribers, returning people, how y'all doing today? I hope all is well. I hope your mental state is is okay, and if not, please go seek the help that you guys need. I know I haven't stated in it, but I've always thought about you guys' as mental health, how you guys like doing mentally, as you know. <sighs> I'm taking it one day at a time, but... Depression is real. That's all I'm going to say. Depression is real. And my mental health is not really there. So, yes. Um, make sure you guys um, like the video, comment, share. Check the description box. That's where you're going to find the timestamp to everything. Um, you're going to find the social media handle for Studio Wabi Sabi in the description box. My social media handle will be on the description box. It will also be on the screen over there. Um, also, if you want to watch the full episode of Between Us, you can watch it on the iQ app um, or on iQ.com. You can watch it on YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah. So, if you guys are ready, like I'm ready to watch this continuation of... Um, episode 5 on this episode 6 then let's get ready and I will see you guys at the recap let's go god damn Shitting me. Now, y'all playing this goddamn song. This music in the background. Not y'all. I'm about to say. <laughs> Come through with the background music. Just like that one. Yeah. Oh, the fuck? What the heck? I got a minute. What if no one was there to yeah. save your ass? Exactly. You could have been dead. Oh. 
ถ้ากูไม่ผ่านเห็นแสงไฟถ้ากูไม่ได้เดินเข้ามาดูกูว่ามันจะเกิดอะไรขึ้น Exactly บอกกูสิว่ามันจะเกิดอะไรขึ้นมึงทำแบบนี้ทำไมผมก็แค่อยากซ้อมอะไรนะเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียเฮียNot the music, please. Not the music. <laughs> Not the music. <sighs> This is why exactly he got a whole fucking point. What if nobody was there? You would have been dead. You, your body would have been floating. You want to practice. I understand you want to practice, but it's still at the same goddamn time. Make sure somebody's there. Exactly. <laughs> Because you in love with him. To be on suspension or something, <laughs> because I can't deal with you right now, team. I cannot deal with you right now, team. Exactly. Is that supposed to solve the shit? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Okay. Okay. Promises are meant to be broken. Baby, you would have been unalive that time, baby boy. You would have been unalive. <laughs> He's still vex. He was, but Dean came. Exactly, hard head make a soft behind. In our household, what we say, who can't hear will always feel and look him feel it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but when you're in love, you're 
taking him to his house. Better stop this shit. <laughs> stop this shit right now. Stop this shit right now. Stop it. Yeah. Mm. Let him do it for you. Just like episode, what was it? Two, when you got that damn cut. <laughs> And you talk about you could do it yourself. I could run around laps. Mm hmm. Look at your ass now. You ain't gonna be able to run no ten minutes, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I don't know if he's mad. He's more upset. Don't you mean that? No, oh, Lord. We finally finna tell the story. Yeah, no, paralyzing state. Not you trying to run upstairs and be nosy. Motherfucker, you in slippers. Stop running. And you don't see how dangerous them goddamn stairs are? Bitch. The fuck is wrong with you? Exactly. They could have been dealing with the L99. You up in here busting up in the goddamn room. Bitch. A friend. I'm fucking done. Exactly. Stop it. Exactly, greedy ass. I'm done. Look at him chowing down. Yeah. 
Like really look at him chowing down for real. Like the food must be good. <laughs> the food must really be good. Him eating for real. No. Mm. Boxy. My God. I'm done. Teach almost be done with his goddamn food. I'm done. We see you come to channel your man. Exactly. He reliving the flashback. Oh, so we do get to see it. Oh, child. The paralyzing state. Exactly. My God, today, don't you say that? Wow. 
What's that supposed to mean? Well, he's gonna run away from the problem. Ooh. Why are you running? ไอ้เก่งมากเลยนะปีนี้ท้องไหว้แข่งกับฉลามได้แล้วมั้งโอ้โหเวอร์มากเออเราไม่ไปเขาเนี่ยไปกินข้าวเราไหมเดี๋
His man almost oh, died in front of his face. <laughs> and it's scary. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. To fall in love. Yes, let's get to the root of the problem. You want to call him, but you don't want to call him. You thinking he going to call you, but he's not going to call you. <laughs> Tell me what it is. Mm. He's still at the bar or he at home? He ignoring your call? So he really trying to avoid you? I mean, I don't call. ถ้าผลแค่แน่นออกมาดีที่ว่าจะชวนพวกนั้นไปนอนแพที่การชนะบุรีด้วยกันอืมแพที่การชนะบุรีเหรอครับผมไม่เคยไปนอนเลยอ
So let me see his room. Dude, I knew he was gonna have that. Room. Bitch, he's right there. You chin and grinning. How did I not figure he would have the bed? I meant that goddamn room. Not you complain to him real good when you can do it right here. I like. Oh, what you like? What you like? What you like? What do you like? Tell me too. What you like? <laughs> you like what he's applying to you? Child. Oh, he got a tattoo on his back. He got the tattoo right up on his neck. Come through. What does the tattoo say? What does the tattoo say? My God, what is y'all doing? Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Just go to sleep. Calm your ass down. <laughs> oh my God. So you a wild sleep behind one. And two, you just... Ex you just... Two, you just just taking the all in, huh? You like this time the door gonna be locked because his feelings for you right now is just all discombobulating and shit. Did he still, did he suck at home? Yeah. No, but you would have saw his car. His bike. I mean, no, he was drinking. I've had Baby, you gonna have to, you gonna have to go take your ass right back to your room and endure. Now, unless he's in that room and he ignore your ass. The fuck? No! Everybody else drinking liquor, but he drinking juice. The fuck? Oh, oh, 
บันเล่าคือของที่พวกมึงแดกปกติมากินใช่ไหมเออเป็นไรมึงผีเข้าไงเออป่าวอ่ะก็เคยสัญญาไว้ฮะแบบว่าเออนะก็เวลากูแดกเล่าพวกมึงแล้วกูเมาเละเทะเดี๋ยวเขาเป็นห่วงเขาไหนวะใครเขาไหนน่าจะต้องมา which one Oh shit! Here, what are you doing? Just a day with a baby. Oh my god! Oh my god! Y'all, y'all saw what I just saw, right? Okay, y'all saw what I just saw, right? <laughs> y'all experienced what I just experienced, right? The words. Get your man. Kiss your man. Oh, y'all, I feel so lightheaded. That shit took me by storm. That shit took me by storm. But, okay, okay. Y'all, and that was the end of Between Us episode six. Yes, we get the behind story of um how team end up in the situation that he end up in the situation. Basically, his brother end up um almost passing away yes his brother almost passed away and his mother was like you you tried to kill my son and all of this type of stuff and yeah we got um when really feel realizing that he's in love with um team and he doesn't know how to react to it he doesn't know how to feel there's all types of emotions running through his body and he just needs time to process it which is very much understandable because it started off with a one night stand but it ended up turning into something else you know and it's like when you start having these feelings, start caring about somebody's all these emotions, it's like, what the hell? This is not how it's supposed to be. I'm not supposed to actually fall in love with you. I'm supposed to just enjoy and have a wonderful time with you. Not supposed to, you know, care. But that's not how it is. With when all these emotions, again, like I said, it's it's getting to him and what took it off was when team basically was about to die in front of his face he was about to drown he was drowning in front of his face if he didn't came in, in time they would have seen just a whole body and they would have to explain it to the university why what happened and so when just having these flashbacks, these emotions of him losing somebody that's so important to him. So I'm trying to figure out what did he lost that was important? Or who did he lost that was important? Because we got to get to the root of the problem of why he's feeling the way he's feeling. And so, um, we got, um, Team 
didn't stretch. That's why he caught a cramp in his leg. I've been exp I've been said that he probably caught a cramp in his leg from from when when. And so he was getting scalded at by when, as rightfully he should. Um, with a situation like that, he could have lost his scholarship, but more importantly, he could have died. Point blank period, there's nothing to explain. He could have died. He could have drowned in that water. Even though he said he knew how to pull himself up, but the paralyzing state of the condition that you're in was not going to allow you to happen. That, that was not going to allow you to be able to pull yourself up. You was not going to be able to do that. Um, you got Dean talking to Wynn about his emotions and what he's feeling and he needs to think things through and stuff like that, which I definitely understand. Yeah, he do. He got to think these things through because he's just talking irrational right now. You got, um, basically Wynn is talking to his brother Juan and Tool about his emotions and that he basically fall in love with this guy this kid um and stuff like that and his brother basically talking sense into him and trying to figure out give him consoling advice and stuff like that then you have two and one together i'm just i'm just i'm just baffled with tool right now I'm just baffled with Tool. You got Tool and Juan um, having a whole conversation. Tool basically asking Juan some questions. Juan answering it. Juan talking about, you know, he got a special person that he likes to talk to, which is Tool, but he doesn't know it's Tool. Um, he got, he ended up taking Tool back to his house because Tool ended up losing his key to go to his um dorm room and when cannot be found which more than likely when is back at the dorm but he's ignoring um team and stuff like that but yeah um you got two basically sleeping in the same bed as one and one is um a wild sleeper so he's over there hugging tool and stuff like that so y'all <laughs> my god jesus okay you also got um what else you got you got um prince basically coming to see um b in his practice competition and so when um they two like each other but they not gonna you know disclose that whatever have you not but yeah they like each other so yeah um he was excited for that excuse me um you have when actually took team home from the incident of the swimming pool and so when morning came you had the brother the little brother of you Ryu, who was very excited that his brother um Wen came, but he didn't know that he had company in his bed, which he should have knocked as a responsible person because again, like I said, you don't know what they could have been doing. They could have been in any type of position, and your eyes would not be wanted to see that, sir. So he's very excited that his brother brought a home um a boy, a guest. And so basically he knows, he knows, the brother ain't stupid. He knows who, who, what, what it is. So yeah. Also we got, um, basically team had his nightmares and now that he having his nightmares, he wants to go to Wynn's room, but Wynn again is avoiding him, um, ignoring him. And so he ended up locking his door. Which was a shocker for a team because it's always open for him. But this time it's locked because he don't want to deal with team right now because he's trying to figure out his emotions. And so team basically is outside his door 
probably gonna sleep or he gonna end up back in his room so i want to see what's gonna transpire on the next episode because this shit right here yeah when is really gonna have to have a real sit down sit down conversation with team and really get some stuff off his chest they need to figure out he needs to figure out if he wants to start a relationship with team um because this is ridiculous because clearly team is trying to want to start a relationship with him but i mean they got i don't know <sighs> y'all i really just don't know but yeah so yeah um yeah that's just gonna be the end of the recap for episode six of between us um make sure you guys like comment subscribe hit the bell to be notified when i upload more videos make sure you check the description box that's where you'll find a link to watch um between us on iq and youtube um also you'll find a social media link for um studio wabi sabi and my social media link will be in the description box also and yeah so we just gonna call it a night so you guys have a wonderful morning afternoon evening nighttime whatever time you guys are watching this and i will see you guys on the next episode of between us episode seven the continuation of episode six so yeah all right bye